is up? It's Mr. Orange here. Today we are back on Subnautica after a very long time. It's been about it's been about six months, maybe seven months since I was last on, and so much has changed. Apparently, there are tons and tons and tons of updates. The last update I remember was the prawn suit. They say there's something about like a giant gun that I'm kind of looking forward to see. And um, the other thing is that I really just want to get back in the game because. When I was playing before, I really enjoyed it, but I kept spending so much time farming, and that's kind of what pulled me away from it. But if I play it a little bit different, play a little bit more on the adventure side, rather than always trying to build the biggest of this, build the biggest of that, maybe we can make this more fun of a series. Do remember that I do do uh, name tags, uh, not name tags, names for the lockers, if anyone who uh, does want to comment on these, um, if you want in on the locker, just say it wasn't on the locker, and I will try to throw everyone I can on the locker list, and we'll do that as soon as possible. Anyways, so we're jumping in to Subnautica, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the basic stuff today, and then kind of just trying to see exactly what's different, and then move forward from there. But I, I don't have a huge plan for this episode. This episode is just kind of getting back into the flow, and getting things, and seeing what's really different. Um, I do remember that the intro sound didn't work when I first played. And it clearly works right now. So here we are, and our ship is about to be the only survivor. <laughs> Boom. That would suck. Like, legitimately, that would suck so much. Being hit in the face like that. Alright, get me some uh, fire extinguishing. And uh, let's get back to work. Pick that up. Blow that up. Oh, I'm on fire already. That took 10 seconds. And I'm in the middle of the ocean, and I catch myself on fire. Marvelous. Ooh, this is new. Booting emergency mode. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. Thanks. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. I can change the ping made. Oh my goodness. Yes. And we got the log. The, that's the verbal log. And then equipment. Um, cool. Little read me. Survival and the Aurora. Okay, so we know all this already. Uh, T3 hours since last planet fall. Life pod hall secure. Communications offline. So... I think we're good to go there. Communications are offline, so what I do need to do is I need to go and get a uh, repair tool, which I haven't really, ooh. I haven't built in a long time, but I think I need a crash powder fish. Uh, a crash fish for it or something. Or, I feel like I'm in a different location. Normally I'm like over there, but this feels like I'm towards the back more. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is a different location. I think that what they did is they changed kind of the initial spawn to a few different places. Um, and it's kind of randomized. Which is kind of cool. Gary! I got Gary. Okay. We are uh, successfully uh, okay now. Gary is here with us. And we're going to go. Also, Maria, the uh, AI that I named. I keep forgetting that her name is Maria, and I almost didn't call her Maria when we first got in here. I was just like, oh, the AI. No, it's Maria. Maria, oh, my awesome uh, person. AI. <laughs> we got some lead down here. That's good. Got some copper. That's really important for a battery. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. You probably the survival has just increased by 11%. Cool. And... We need the ores. Oh, I need oxygen. Oxygen. 
detecting increased level oh my goodness levels. how am i supposed Trend to oh consistent with oh if i drown in the first couple the seconds oh my good are you serious during collision continue to monitor I almost died in my first dive. Within 45 seconds of first going down underneath the water, I almost killed myself. That is just, that is just sad, to say the absolute least. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up uh, the fish here. Cook up Gary. Sorry, Gary. I'm hungry. And uh, I won't, I'm not gonna go insane by myself, so that's good to know. All right, so we have these two. Uh, cured, cured fish is still the same. Still need salt for that, I believe. Uh, not too much has changed as far as actual things inside of here, I don't believe. I believe it's mainly terrain that has been changed. Um, I do need a survival knife at some point, which means I'll need some uh, titanium. Also, I need a uh, titanium, I believe, glass to make an air pump, which is actually the, the biggest thing I need right now because... Without that, I'm going to be in kind of in trouble. So, here we are with our oxygen tank. Now I'll actually be able to survive longer. Um, titanium, cook boomerang. Alright, we're pretty good on health there now. Medicals appear to be fine. I do, I do, uh, like, uh, let's just say if this was a real, uh, real event here. I think it's really funny that the AI, the AI, first thing she says is... Good job, not sur not uh, dying, or good job surviving, or however she said it. Which whoever programmed her to said that say that was just like, <laughs> if this ever happened, you know, funny be if like he said, good job not dying, or good job surviving. Um, but anywho, that is just a side note. I need to get two of these for my uh, battery. I also need to get some more titanium, and I need to find a. Uh, I believe it was called some sort of vine. Uh, what was the name of that? Hey, it's the Toxic Farts! Hey, my boys! Oh my goodness, you're trying to kill me! Man, they sure remember me. Ah, here it is. I think it was called Creep Vine. That's what, I, that's what it was called. See, it's coming back to me slowly but surely. Oh yeah, hi. Here, eat. Okay, never mind. He's not hungry. I'm okay with that. I also like the idea of, like, underwater uh, biomes. I've never really thought about it prior to this game. But, good, like, normally you think, okay, biome. You think ocean. You think desert. You think uh, terrain, like, uh, tundra. You think all those type of things, like jungles and kind of plains and stuff. But I've never thought about, like, different ocean biomes until this game. So... It does bring across a different uh, aspect that I never had really thought about prior. Hey, it's a hoverfish. Okay, this guy, he's got a little smile on him. Uh, what was I after out here? Oh, yeah, I was right. I was after their seeds. Which, why are there no seeds on these? Oxygen. Am I, am I just like, oh, there, there's the seeds. Okay, I was about to say, I was sure there were seeds on creep vine. Otherwise, I would have no idea how to get to them. Okay, so 300 meters away. From that, that's good to know. I believe the first thing I'll get is some uh, flippers, and then we'll go after a knife next. But the silicone is kind of annoying. Silicone rubber, I believe, is what I need. Um, but that's kind of annoying to get because you know you need so much of it, and it takes two creeper vine clusters, which seed clusters, which is huge in your inventory. So, anyways. Let's see here. I got the fins coming right up. I have the oxygen tank. I'm good as far as that's concerned. I do need to start getting this. So I need a battery. Magnesium. Three salt deposits. Oh, I thought it was just two. Okay, so magnesium is needed for um, this. I need crash fish powder still, which isn't too, too hard to get. Um, as long as it's still the same way as it used to be to get. So, I gotta go find my old friends. <laughs> the uh, crash fish. I hate those things. Actually, while I'm in here, I should probably take advantage of the fact that I have um, fish on me and um, eat it. He's green. Why is my guy green? 
Why's my little ball green? Where am I going? I'm going this way. I'm not going towards the Aurora. I'm going away from the Aurora. I'm not going to die in that explosion. That's a stupid idea. Seismic readings suggest Oxygen. the quantum detonation has occurred in the oh boy. core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Holy cow! Never ceases to uh, so just blow me away how big of an explosion that is. And here comes the radiation, as always, as expected. Wow! Fiber mesh, that's good. Okay, and then I need, I believe, what? Lead? I'm not sure if that's correct or if that's completely off. Also, titanium. Come on. Titanium. There we go. And then... Radiation suit. Woot woot. Am I supposed to get what I need from these guys? Oh! Oh, I gotta... Oh, I gotta attack it? Oh, I was just taking a, a wild try on that. Oh, boy. I am not gonna like doing that. Okay, so the uh, laser cutter. I'm gonna need a battery for and a diamond. Now the diamond, I believe all I have to do is di uh, swim really deep and there's pretty much diamonds everywhere when you swim deep. The only downside is that I don't know how to swim deep without dying. So I will have to get um, something to drive down there and take care of that. Let's repair this up real quick and see what we have. Um, if I do this, I think I get more power, right? Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it just looks better. And then I'm going to repair this, because this is important to have repaired. Captain, a new message has arrived. Yay, Captain! Playing message. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 hours. Yep, we're never getting saved. I think I'm gonna look for the, uh, what is the thing called? I think I'm gonna look for the, the sea moth. Once I find the sea moth uh, blueprints, I can run around and get the sea moth. Um, but until then, I won't be able to go too deep. And if I can't go deep, I can't take care of what I need to do. So, sea moth is first on my to do list um, on the next episode. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And, um, I'm really excited to get back into the series. Because there's so much that I, I even just playing here. I mean, I have to kill a, I have to kill a crash fish to get the crash fish powder. Uh, that's going to be fun because that almost killed me. But, uh, there's a lot of things that I can already see have been changed. And I'm looking forward to seeing later. Is that like a ship on top of it? Can't go and tell. I think it looks like there's a life pod up there uh, I saw during the day, and I was kind of wondering about that. But if that's the case, maybe I can get up there. Um, also, I might need, may, might be able to use a prawn to actually kind of grapple my way up it. But I'm not sure if it's uh, still a walkthrough. Because before, I did try to figure out how to, get, how to get up there, and I actually fell through the ceiling. So, that didn't work out so well for me. What is that? That's a little bleeper thing over there. Okay. Well, that's on, that is done and said, and uh, I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.